Hello class here, what's up guys? I am here back in the free to play account bringing something a little different. Uh, I've had this account for a few months now. Um, I'm a level seven now. Um, my highest is, let's see, uh, 2689. I'm currently in jungle arena. I just crawled back up in there after a little bit of a losing streak, but there's my deck, kind of a balloon cycle deck. Um, Take a look at that. But this is the main deck that I'm running um, to play the ladder, which is the only thing I can really play at this time. Um, hoping to get some uh, some love in this chest opening video here. Hoping we stumble into some good cards. Obviously, we've got a couple magical chests here, and uh, you know the bandit is available in uh, in this arena, so that would be pretty exciting to get. And the night witch is available in Frozen Peak, so. Either one of those would have been unbelievable, but who knows? We'll see. Um, not great. Some of these are a level, uh, let's see, we're in arena 9, so these are a combination of arena 8 and arena 9 chess. So we'll take that musketeer. We're trying to level that up. And maybe we will show a few replays of how I play this deck at this ladder for those that are in this uh, section of the game. Let's see here. Let's do, uh, we got a level one clan chest. We got a pretty small clan uh, on this account. So, this is a small clan. I play with my kids and some of their friends, so it's nothing serious. Um, but I figured it's a fun glimpse, and I know there's a lot of people that watch my videos in all different stages of the game, so I thought this would be kind of a a fun video series to sprinkle in. Well, there's Knight. I use that, so that's a nice check of Knights. There's some Hog Riders. Uh, you know, I can always make a Hog deck. That's uh, that's a good card. You never turn down Hog Riders. Got a Crown Chest. It's funny. Supercell totally trolled me the other day. Uh, they gave me a legendary chest offer when I had 485 gems. So... Um, I'm pretty sure that's like some kind of automatic calculated, you know, way to try to get you to at least spend a dollar is to buy those gems to get that legendary chest. So, all right, I don't remember which one of these chests is which, um, but let's see what happens here. I'm thankful they kind of got the extra gold in the magical chest after rebalancing. I'd like to see a whole bunch of epics sooner than later, and that's not looking good. These will be epics. What kind of epics do we get? Tornado? I'd like to get a bunch of balloons that or lightning. That would be my next preference if I'm not going to get something super cool. Um, Alright, this is our last chance. You want to see those epics early and often. The pencil, the minions. There's a goblin barrel. That's good. The uh, mini pekkas. That means we're going to get more epics. Freeze. So... Nothing super exciting in these chests. Um, the video's three minutes in. Let's look at a couple of the replays here. The last couple of games that I wanted to get back in. So playing a hog deck. We'll watch these in 2x. This guy's running a giant hog witch deck. The decks are definitely a little more diverse down here than they are at the top of the, the ladder. Um, but he's coming in. I decided to take a lightning just so I don't have to deal with that wizard. Uh, he's also running a witch. Um, so this is a pretty defensive battle. Um, he's pretty aggressive um, early and often with his uh, uh, giant pushes. You see I was able to combo um, an Ice Spirit and those archers to take out that minion horde, saving my arrows for later. So I send in uh, a balloon thinking he doesn't have much of a counter. He doesn't, so he pushes with his hog. So I shut that down and get a little bit of a tower lead here. And now I've kind of got a little mini push. Uh, which he shuts down with the witch. So now I know he's got a witch and a wizard. So I'm just hoping I can get both of those with the lightning at some point. Um, so I'll just start uh, ice. Uh, whatever it's called. So it was nice. It actually worked out perfect for him to play that minion horde right into my ice spirit. Um, then I had plenty of time to arrow and get that balloon to the tower. So. And there I have the perfect lightning where I can take out his wizard witch. And chip is giant, uh, saving my arrows for the uh, minion horde. So this one's pretty much over. Uh, Ten seconds left. So there's not enough in the tank. So 
facing a lot of level eights, level nines, even a few level tens down here. You know, all kinds of legendaries. It's kind of a, a challenging uh, arena to play as a level seven, but I feel like it really hones my skills. Um, here facing a, a giant executioner deck. He also got a Skarmy and an Ice Wizard. So he's got a level 7 Giant. That's pretty high for down in this section for most of the cards I see. Um, trying to cycle to my Inferno Tower. And then hopefully saving up the Elixir to uh, and get to the Lightning. So I was able to take everything out and not take any hits. So this battle is actually pretty similar to the last one where the guy keeps bringing uh, Saturno MMA, keeps bringing big giant pushes. Uh, he's got a little bit of an elixir advantage here because I had to cycle so many cards to get to what I needed to to defend that. Uh, but now I'm getting a little better rotation. Um, able to use that knight to distract. And I think gets one hit with his mega minion. But now I've got a couple elixir leads. So um, feeling pretty good about this. Um, I'll start a musketeer in the back, my lowly level five. Um, he kind of sat on some elixir and um, he gave me a really nice valuable poison there, or uh, lightning, sorry. Uh, I'm able to cycle to the Inferno Tower. Level 6 Inferno Tower would be really nice. But he does keep giving me huge lightning value. He clearly uh, doesn't understand how to space his cards out to avoid getting lightning to the face constantly. So. Um, the giant actually does get to the tower for a few swings this time, um, but then again, you know, bringing bringing the lightning pain. Um, now I know I can just cycle back to my lightning and end this game. Um, so just the cheapest cards I can find, get back to the lightning, and that is good game. So. Those of you guys hanging out in Frozen Peak, Royal Arena, Jungle Arena, you know, this is a deck worth trying. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you like watching these free-to-play account videos and leave me a comment. And uh, always, you know, smash that like button uh, and sub me. And, uh, you know, let's get the notification squad going. Hit that bell icon, guys. Thanks for watching.